Abdurrahman. I'm a lecturer at a public university in Kenya. I deliver lectures in computing and informatics. Today, we are going uh, to answer a question, what is format specifier? In our last lesson, we talked about escape sequences and basically we had seen that the syntax of an escape sequence is a combination of a backslash and a lowercase character. For example, you have seen that a backslash n will give us a new line. So today we are going to take up a journey to answer the question what is a format specifier and we are going to answer four questions or we are going to take up our journey into four areas. What is the definition of a format specifier? <coughs> what is the syntax of a format specifier? And what are the input format specifier and the output form, uh, format specifier? So let's start with the definition of what is a format specifier. So format specifier usually uh, it is actually uh, used basically uh, to uh, uh, input or output variables that are types and basically when you're talking about that it tells up uh, a compiler so it tells up a compiler uh, basically uh, what type of data type to actually print uh, using up what you call a print a function so it uses up a, a print a function To actually print what type of data types and also it uses up a scanf function to tell us what to read. So basically these two functions are very important and we are going to talk about them into details in our next le uh, lesson. Basically at the printf function we have used it before and we have seen it's going uh, to print uh, uh, some variables into a console where the scanf is going to take up uh, or read some data from uh, an input function like uh, a keyboard and then capture it, store it in a variable and then display. So basically that is uh, what we are talking about the definition. So the definition basically uh, it uh, of a, a format specifier it is taking up an input and output variables and try to either display or read data from a user and display it what type of data type uh, it is done onto that. So the next item we are talking about what is the syntax of a format specifier. It is a very simple one. We had seen that in a previous lesson. The syntax of a format, uh, I mean the syntax uh, of an escape sequence was a combination of a backslash and uh, um, some letter. So here also the syntax is very simple and the syntax here also it is a combination of percentage sign plus some characters. So basically this will be the syntax and we are going to take uh, each and every one uh, of the format of the input devices and the format of the output devices. So let's start up uh, the types of format uh, of the input devices and we are going to see that uh, there are so many of them but we are going to take up uh, maybe around five for each and see what happens. So let's start up with the input uh, format specifier. Let's start up with the first one. This first one will be maybe percentage C. So percentage C basically it tells up a compiler that uh, you read actually a single character. So uh, uh, percentage C uh, will tell us uh, uh, to print, sorry, not to read. So this one will tell us to print uh, a character. And then we'll have another one, maybe it's a percentage D. A percentage D basically will tell a compiler to print an integer.
the third one will have maybe a percentage uh, f will tell a, a compiler to print a float number then you can have a percentage s this will tell up a compiler to print a string and then number five will have a percentage lf percentage lf means actually uh, l for long float but we will see that a long float is actually a double so that will be to print a double so basically this will be the format specifiers for an output uh, device which uses uh, actually uh, the printf this one uses up the printf so let's see the second one uh, the same one which uses scanf the scanf function so a scanf function also will have up the same but this time it won't read percentage c it won't read but percentage c will not print but read that one will read a character and percentage d here will read an integer and percentage f here will read a float and percentage s will read a string and lastly we have percentage lf which will read double so basically um, basically that is uh, what we are having on that particular area and uh, that is uh, what we are supposed uh, uh, to do so from here from here now let's see how we can implement uh, these particular ones and here we are having uh, uh, some line of codes to implement uh, all our uh, our things there so let us move on and see how we can actually implement so here let's start to implement here we are defining name of data type character which hold up we are going to talk about uh, how to define uh, how to define an array and uh, holding up 20 characters and here we are putting up a print f we are saying up enter your name after entering up your name we are using up a scan f and here we are using up format specifier we are talking about percentage s whereby we have seen percentage s here is all about printing up a, a string and then and this is the format uh, whereby a scan f takes it up and here we are using uh, what you call in our last lesson um, escape sequences uh, backslash n to print up a new line and then percentage s to print uh, up a string so we run this particular program ask up a user to enter their name when enter up their name it's going to print up your name is and then gives up uh, uh, your name and that particular perspective so let's start and run this particular program and see what happens so you can see in this particular program here it is asking us uh, to enter uh, our names and is basically asking us what is your name so if i write up uh, my name to be ahmed the output says your name it is actually ahmed so basically that's what happens so here we are used up uh, our escape uh, sequences uh, uh, and our format specifier actually to run that particular program here is another one whereby we are declaring an integer called age and the same the way it is but here uh, because the data type we are trying to store into memory it is of uh, integer type so we are using a percentage d 
whereby we want actually to get out, read, and display or write uh, an integer. So here we are using percentage %d to capture and then to display we are using upper percentage %d. So when you run this particular program, it will ask you to enter your age. After entering your age, display your age in terms of a an integer. So let's run and see what happens. Yes, when we run this particular program, it asks you what is your age. So basically, if your age is 25 years, it tells us uh, here that your age is actually 25 years. And the last part of it, we want to display a data type of double, and we're using up the same program, same logic, whereby we are telling, uh, uh, we are declaring a variable called salary, and then we are saying enter your salary, and then we are using up the LF, the LF at the long float which is used up for double. So when we execute this particular program, we could see here asking us about our salary, and if you write up our salary and put up some few decimal places, we'll see that that is giving us the salary plus the decimal spaces into actually six decimal places so that is basically the format specifier how we are supposed to do so format specifiers basically they are support to format uh, the input and the output of a particular variable using up the scan f and using up the print f so thank you very much in our next lesson we are going to talk about data types however don't forget to subscribe for any new videos. Thank you.